Welcome back, Tony is here. Today I'm flying from Rochester, New York to Niagara Falls. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. We'll be flying at a flight level of 3,000 feet. Let's go ahead and go inside and get started. Take off the parking brake and let's begin down the runway. Still find it very hard to keep a nice even straight away down the runway. Let's go ahead and pull up. Alright, landing gear up. Rochester approach KH431 is type Beechcraft King Air 1 miles south of Rochester 900 feet. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. KH431 Rochester approach. Squawk Tree 426. Squawk Tree 426 KH431. KH431 radar contact 2 miles southwest of Rochester 1800 feet. Looks like we'll be flying right into the sun. That's kind of interesting. Let me see if I can get us on course here. And then I'll hand over to autopilot. It is a beautiful day. Not sure what Niagara Falls will look like in the game. It looks like it has been hand-built or something, so it should be interesting. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and level off now because we're actually at the altitude I wanted to be at. Let me go ahead and engage autopilot. I need to assign this to a button or a keyboard key or something. I tried, I couldn't figure out a way to do that. Alright, so autopilot's taking over. Let's give it a bit to stabilize, see if we can build up some speed. Got the throttle at the detent halfway point. Sort of late afternoon. Let's see, local time there should be. Actually, I guess evening, just about 6 p.m. in the evening here in Rochester. Okay, it seems like autopilot has got us in pretty good shape. Just um, we keep an eye on the speed, see if I need to adjust the throttle. Hadn't yet really flown into the sun, but at the same time, I'm usually flying in the afternoon going east, and I've finally turned and I'm heading back west, so this ought to be more common. My plan is just to head across the top side of the U.S., maybe over to Washington State, back Monitor down to California. Just seems like a really nice, bright, sunny day. I'm curious what the temperature is. See if I can look down. Okay, it's a little cold. Uh, I don't know if I need the ice on or not. I actually turned it on before we left, so I think we're okay. I'm gonna go outside and take a look. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna pull back a little bit on the throttle. We're pushing up against that red limit, so let's go back, go to about 45%. Take an eye outside. Oh, that's a, that's a beautiful view. Getting some lag, probably downloading or something. 
Um, you can see the ribs and infrastructure of the plane or substructure of the plane with the light at this angle, which is interesting because that's just uh, shadowing. Doing that, I think. All right, let's see if I can use the controller, not screw anything up. It's beautiful. The weather has been so bad ever since I basically arrived in Florida and heading up towards Boston. So it's so nice to see such good weather. I have no idea what Niagara Falls is going to look like. This might be too fast a plane to really get a good view, but of course there's always the drone, so I should be able to get something. Alright, let's go back inside. They did mention the barometric, barometric pressure was different than what I've got set it out, so let's do this and then throws our altitude off. I think autopilot will go ahead and take care of that. I'm going to drop the throttle a little bit. We're heading up towards the red zone. Alright, so back outside, reset the view, and I wouldn't mind looking around a little bit with the drone, so let's do that. Alright. So we should actually be moving faster than the plane. Yeah, we'll pass it. This makes for a very interesting look. Of course I have to keep chasing after it. Alright, so I've got the photogrammetry data on and so the environments look much richer, much re more realistic. For a long time it was looking very synthetic in 4K. It was okay in full high def. I love those snaking waterways, and then there's something off in the distance. Yeah, I guess we're really not too far away from Niagara Falls. Let's go back to the plane for a second. Okay, it's actually time for me to take over and get ready to land. So 
I'm going to go ahead and do that. First of all, let's um, slow down. Do a power descent. So I'll need to turn off autopilot and take over. Now, I'm not necessarily good at figuring this out. I just watched a video about power descents, and of course I don't want to go too far down either. So, the general idea was just to have a nice smooth descent the whole way and reach the, one, the runway with just enough power to land smoothly. I'm going to nose up a little bit, that'll drop us in speed, which will help. The landing pattern entrance will be somewhere about where we're at now. So of course I'm... Waiting for the co-pilot to finish. Buffalo approach KH-4312,600 feet. So I was going to say, I'm, of course I'm playing a video game, I'm not actually flying a plane. So just learning parts of the experience, not the whole. And when I look into the full experience, there's just so much more to learn. It makes me eager to learn that stuff. And um, I'm always self-taught, and so my first inclination is to go figure it out on my own. But I do see there are things I do need to kind of fill in the gaps about. Looks like we've got somebody passing by really close. That's cool. I don't know if we'll see them. It does seem pretty darn close though. Okay, I'm going to nose up again. I don't know what their altitude is. I'm sure that the uh, tower mentioned it. Okay, so again, just getting some altitude to get the speed down. You can also drop the throttle some more. That would be a good way to do that. What I would like to do is put the flaps down part way. Okay, so good drop in speed, good some altitude, I can head back down. And then as I get closer, I'll put the flaps down the rest of the way. Pilot should contact the tower soon to ask for clearance, possibly s multiple clearances. <coughs> I think I see some marker below us. I'm not sure what that was. Buffalo approach KH-431. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. KH-431 Buffalo approach. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. Cleared through Charlie airspace KH-431. Niagara Tower KH-431 is 10 miles east with Oscar to land. KH-431 Niagara Tower. Fly straight in runway 28 right. 
Adjusted the Make barometer, or barometer there. Right KH we were lower than we thought. Going to go ahead and put the flaps down all the landing way. Gear. Landing gear. Landing put the landing gear. gear down. Bring up the throttle, because we'll need that thrust. And I do need to nose down a little bit so I can see where I'm going. Ah, there we are. So my timing was a little off. The landing gear warning was because we were heading towards a stalling. But I caught it in time. It seemed to be just fine. Okay, we're going to begin descending, so I'm going to start dropping the throttle. I'm going to drop it some more. I'm going to get myself over towards the right side, try to keep the runway centered originally. Okay, more dropping of the throttle. Flaps are as far down as they can go. Landing is down. to land runway 28 right KH 431. Alright, so this feels comfortable so far. So we do need some more thrust, we're dropping in speed. Sure, not sure what the actual falls are. I assume I can find a marker for it or something. It'd be nice to try to pop the drone over and see what it looks like. watched a video about control authority and how it diminishes the less wind you have going over your control surfaces. Totally makes sense. I never thought about it before, but you have to be aware that you have less ability to control the plane when you're going slow and take that into consideration when you're Why doing things like it? landing. my throttle. It's a little bit on the high side, so let's drop it. I feel like I should get centered a little bit more. I'm dropping too fast, though. Yeah, this feels a little dodgy for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe the tree's being there or something. And yeah, not really quite centered on the runway, but make this work. Okay, so I'll just try to pull up and hover a bit. Of course, we're just going to drop out right away, so let's see if we can... Oops, it was kind of rough. 
Hit the brakes. Okay, not a great w landing. It feels like there was kind of a crosswind. I'm even noticing it now trying to use the rudder to steer. So, not that great a landing, but I think the plane would have been okay. Yeah, I can really feel that crosswind. Alright, so let's get off the runway here and contact ground. Taxiway cross runway 28 right alpha 2 alpha KH431. Alright, I don't really see the taxi ribbon. Um. Ah, there it is. Okay. I am curious. Uh, Side, there's a way to do a reverse thrust. I don't know if that's something I could actually do. Yeah, probably I shouldn't mess with that if I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I'll just turn around. Then. Oh wait, it did go into reverse, okay. Well, I guess that's what I want. Um, do I look like this? How do I do this safely as a pilot? There's no rear view mirror. I guess uh, you'd have to have somebody on the ground helping you. Um, I should be able to back up a little bit though. Okay, and we'll stop there, and the plane sure didn't like that. I was not expecting that to happen. That makes me laugh. But see, like I said, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, so let's put this back to normal. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that is really funny. I'm going to have to do that again sometime on purpose just to see it. Um, all right. Well, anyway, let's get ourselves turned around here. pivot on the left brake to some extent. Oh, that way. Okay. Oh, that works. I'm gonna do that from the inside. Okay, I've got the throttle set a little bit too high. We're going too fast. Probably something you can do with the propeller pitch to uh, prevent the too much thrust at this point. I don't really know how to do that, but I would think that you'd be able to fine tune this a little bit. This is just a, a bit much having to keep pumping the brakes. Maybe if I put the flaps up? I don't know if that would make any difference. Of course, it's much safer to have them up when you're on the ground. It's a really bad idea to have them down. You get going a little bit too fast on the taxiway, and suddenly you're up in the air. I 
I'm still having trouble with my rotor pedals. I am going to have to hack it. Um, uses a telephone style connector but with analog signals to the pedals and I'm now having to unplug and clean it every time to get full travel. So it seems silly that it would run analog signals all the way through a nasty little connector like that. Um, so I'm thinking of taking the USB part out that the telephone connector plugs into and then actually housing that in the pedals and then running an actual USB cable out rather than an analog cable out and have it all soldered so there's no chance of bad connection. This is a Thrustmaster T-Rudder pedals. Um, it seemed like high quality but I was really disappointed with the quality of the electronics. Super disappointing. I guess if you're really going to get into simulation, you have to get into more expensive stuff. Um, I got it along with the stick, flight stick, and I've been happy with it. I think they would have just clipped my wing. So I've been happy with the stick and the throttle, it's just the pedals have been disappointing. But that's what I'm using right now to do all the maneuvering. Um, I've looked a couple times at the Logitech or SciTech ones. Um, might do that if I... Oh wait, why am I supposed to go through another airplane? Okay, well, that's not really th the best thing for me to do. So let's do something else. Let's just go directly there, I guess. I'm just going to pull in, they won't care. Alright, I think I'm technically parked to turn green. So let's do that. And then before we take off, I want to go outside, get in the drone. Oh wow, okay, let's reset that. And it's going to need some settings. Alright, so the question then is, where would I find the falls themselves? Uh, it seemed like they were marked in the map. Okay, I guess it has to be over, it'll be over here. All right. Wow, well, there it is. Uh, it looks kind of amazing. Seeing the photogrammetry data being applied to stuff here. Laser tag, water park and stuff, wow. Yeah, you gotta love the photogrammetry data. It makes everything look so real. What an interesting Wow, what is this? Must be a hotel or something. These are kind of frozen, so... I mean, it would be nice if they were actually falling. Maybe they're falling over here. Maybe they're... I don't know, maybe they're frozen this time of year. That's always a possibility. Is this a train? No, it's just a retaining wall or something. Hmm. Well, this is very interesting. So that's what the Niagara Falls looks like. I wonder what gouged that big hole out. So I'll have to come back here sometime, maybe summertime, and maybe see if it actually flows. 
looks like a really interesting area. Alright, anyway, back to the plane. Alright, let's shut off those engines. that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.